Good day, Capricorn viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy. And thank you for clicking on subscribe. That little notification bell lets you know when I um, post new readings and when I go live. Uh, also, if you would leave a comment if this resonates with you or some feedback, it is all helpful. To, I'm shuffling for the Capricorn Collective's Greatest Good for August 2022. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know for their greatest good for August 2022? What needs to be revealed to them for their greatest good for August 2022? what thank you okay so we have starry night we have storm spirit we have mystic meadow and pure spirit whoo I have a feeling there's going to be a big, big change coming to you. Um, you are going to be a little resentful at first. This is like a tower moment coming at you. You're going to be upset. This is something that's going to upset you. You're going to be guided through it. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to be pissed the fuck off. Um, I'm almost, I'm hearing a baptism of sorts. Like you are going to be renewed. And... It's going to lead to this pure heart and soul and rebirth. There's eventually going to be acceptance of this change, but at first it's going to piss you off. You're, you're going to, it's going to be a huge change for you. A big interruption in your life. Um, well, I'm hearing spirits say rely on your family and friends turn to them they're going to be there for you you could be going through this now um, this, is, this is something big that happened to you this is not just a little thing that you can write off this is something that may have changed your life dramatically or is going to change your life dramatically now we all have free will so the energy that we're in now if there's changes to be made and this change hasn't happened to you yet make the changes to avoid this tower moment to avoid the the rug being swept underneath your feet or pulled from underneath your feet because that's the kind of of situation we're talking about this isn't something light. Okay, I'm shuffling for Capricorn's greatest good. What messages do they need to be revealed for their greatest good for August 2022? What does Capricorn need to hear for their greatest good? What does Capricorn need to hear for their greatest good? What does Capricorn need to hear? Six of, that was the, the Six of Swords in reverse. Means we're heading into rough waters here. Okay, then we have the Moon card, which is Secrets. 
somebody has some secrets. Then we have the Six of Cups in reverse. This might be somebody... This maybe somebody that you're dealing with now or somebody from the past somebody that you have a past with or a history with or some this person has a history with this could be healing from your past is what i'm hearing But you're not going to be giving whomever this is any second chances. This has been played out. There's no resurrecting from this situation. We're clarifying for the Six of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so we have the big wand energy here. Lots of passion. Then we have the Emperor and the Queen of Cups, both in reverse. Emperor is looking at the Queen. Queen is not giving a fuck about what the Emperor is doing. She's lost it. She's lost emotion. There's emotional loss here for a person. This could be a divine masculine. There's definitely um, a loss of emotion. There may be fighting going on. Bickering, I'm hearing. This emperor energy has their defenses down. Their armor's off. It's almost like they are waving a flag of, um, what do you call that? The white flag. The word's not coming to me. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm sorry, Capricorn. Um, but there is... Um, there's definitely somebody is coming to you and kind of saying, please. I, I'm coming to you. And I need you in my life. I want you in my life. And you're like, can't do it. Whatever you found out, this is make this is very something you're very passionate about. Um, and passion, as you know, doesn't always mean sexual passion. It doesn't always mean romantic passion. It doesn't even mean, always mean passion in a good way. You can be passionate about leaving somebody. You can be passionate about, you know, a situation. You can be passionate about passing laws. You can be passionate about congress or politics you can be passionate about a lot of things and you're passionate about being like fuck you i'm done surrender surrendering is the white flag <laughs> thank you <laughs> i'm sorry i'm really not this stupid i just could not place that word for the life of me um can we clarify the moon card for our Capricorn Collective. What do they need revealed to them for their greatest good spirit? What does the moon card mean for our Capricorn Collective? What does the moon card mean? Thank you. Okay, so we have the King of Cups in reverse too. This person has lost emotion as well. Um, we have the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups in reverse. This might have been, um, 
this might have been a third party situation that you found out about that you broke up once you found out. Um, this person was keeping tabs on you. Um, checking you out on social media, perhaps. Um, kind of like keep your friends close and your enemies closer is what I'm hearing. And I feel like you can't trust anybody. You feel like you can't trust anybody. Like you feel like everybody knew about this situation. <clears throat> and um, you feel like this lack of trust. So nine of swords in reverse. Well, you're able to sleep better at night with this nine of swords card. Um, <laughs> there it is. The tower. I knew that was coming. Big changes for you. This is something that is going to be big, but you're going to come out of it glowing. Yeah, Ten of Wands. You're feeling overwhelmed by this, by this uh, tower moment. It's going to be overwhelming. It's going to be shitty. But you're going to get through it, as you always do. You have the tools. You've been going through this life's journey, getting through all the things before. This is nothing different. You have all the coping skills, all of the people in your life that you've built trusting relationships with that love you unconditionally, and they're going to help you. This is just another part of your journey. And I, I don't mean to diminish whatever is happening or how it's happened or anything i don't mean to diminish it but right now it seems like a big deal and i'm sure it is but this is going to make you strong this is going to change your life for the better okay we have the fool in reverse You're scared to start over. You feel like you don't know who to trust. You don't know. I feel like you are taking so many people's advice. You don't know which way to go, which direction to head in. You're going through a lot right now. And you just wish some, you can snap your fingers and alleviate all of it and take you past this. But you have to have trust. And I feel like you've lost some of that. You have to trust the universe that this, this situation is only temporary. We had the Knight of Wands. You're going to get new passions. You might find yourself even flirting with people again. Out and about. Doesn't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. But you might find yourself, you know, getting back on that horse and being passionate about things again. Maybe there's um, a creative outlet that you left behind that you haven't dabbled in in a while. Maybe there's people that you haven't spoken to um, because something got in the way and you reconnect with them. Maybe you join clubs. Maybe you start working out.
Yep, this is the death card in reverse is rebirth. This is the beginning of your life. The very beginning. All right, let's get pull one more card to conclude the reading. Spirit shuffling for our Capricorn collective. What do they need to hear to conclude this reading for August 2022? What do they need to hear to conclude this reading for August 2022? What do they need to hear for this reading for August 2022? Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like. Spirit, what does the Capricorn Collective need to hear for their greatest good? For 2020, thank you. Okay, so we have the new moon in Cancer. Relax. And full moon in Aquarius. Be real. Okay. So. What I just heard was. You don't have to put on an act. If you're hurt. Then you're hurt. You don't have to pretend you're strong for people. When somebody's asking how you're doing. You're being called to. Be real. You're being called to. It, it, like so many people think these changes, whatever it is, it has a stigma to it. There's so many people going through the same thing you are, whatever it may be, that maybe they need to hear it from somebody strong as you, that you can get through it so they can get through it. And things are going to work out. Have faith. I know relax seems hard to do right now. But take some deep breaths. Maybe meditate. Or, you know, start a yoga program. Or something to ease your mind. Something to get you into a... Maybe take, you know, if you can, get a massage. Um, go for a pedicure. Something to just not think. Relax. Self-love, self-care. Thank you, Capricorns, for uh, hanging out with me today. Thank you for your love and your loyalty. I love you guys so much. Please click on like and subscribe. See below on how to book a personal reading. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye, Capricorn.